All right, so continuing on the timeline stuff, um, one of the other things I've done is I've opened a scene that we have. It's under uh, the sample content under scenes, and it's just called basic aircraft with trackers and timeline. And what I've done is I have brought in two different things is we have these aircraft. Now this one's not offset. You'll see it starts out at zero, but when it's on the timeline, because I recorded the craft starting from over here, once I enable the timeline, you'll see that the aircraft jumps over to that spot. So there's two aircraft here. There's one that starts here, one that starts here. And what I've done here is this one, I just imported the raw geometry right out of the FBX file, which works for objects without skeletons really easily. You don't really have the same number of problems. The second aircraft I brought in from Unity. So this, air, this particular aircraft, I went into the uh, standard assets. I found the aircraft prefab. Um, because it has all the animation controls on it. And I basically drag it in like this, and I turn off all of this stuff here. I don't have to delete it, I just turned it off. I keep the animator, and then once all that's turned off, you can take the jet and you can drag and drop it onto the timeline. So if we have this timeline, I can take this jet and drag and drop it on, make it an animation track, and then I can pull the animation from some of my recorded exports. So we'll just do, I guess we'll just do this take, take two and drop it on the airplane, the aircraft. So it'll start flying that, that asset will start flying and inherit the animation from the, the original clip. This method is actually really fun because you can uh, start building a whole, basically a dogfight sequence and flying with yourself and uh, creating a whole, a series of aircraft. So what I've done here is I've got one air, I've got two aircraft flying. I could recolor them. I could do whatever I want. I also have this playable aircraft, which is right here. This is actually the original. So I've moved it over to start off to the side. And when I press play, we will start flying with all the other characters. Whoa. There, nice landing. Okay, great. And now I can stop the recording and we should have a new take here and I can export this animation. We'll call it aircraft based basic aircraft take four. Okay, and that'll export. It'll export the geom geometry too. We're working on a version where we'll have just the, ex the ability to just export the animation. For now, we kind of export everything. There we go. And it should appear right in our asset folder. There we go. So we have aircraft take four. So what's really exciting, but we don't have to do anything with this because it's not a humanoid object. It's just a generic rig. We can take our time, go to our timeline. We can duplicate our Unity aircraft if we want to make another one. So we'll make this one zero two. We'll go into the into the timeline and drag and drop this third aircraft on animation track. And we will um, then apply the animation from take four. There you go. Put it on there. So now what should happen is that sh plane should instantly start taking off. Now this is our game asset right here. This is our playable aircraft. So I'll just move that over. And we could always rename this to aircraft jet playable. Oops, Undersc should be underscore playable. So that's our playable, our character, our game object that we're actually using and the rest are for the timeline. So we'll, we can move this one over. So essentially we get to a point where we're creating a whole fleet of these things. 50. And so if we go back to the uh, timeline, everything will pop into place on the timeline. We can't see it at the moment because it's not in the right spot. But there we go. You see that the jets are there. They're taking off. And we could do one last one if we really want to. So let's record. We'll hold back a little bit. Let these guys take off. There. So that's our last plane. Anyways, essentially, I think you get the idea. We could make another one. OK, 
Okay, so now you'll see we have four aircraft flying. Now these, we could use other assets as well. We could use cars, we could use whatever we want. Gradually build up this whole scene of things flying around and we could change the timing. If we feel like maybe the aircraft are traveling too slow, we could stretch the time out, uh, stretch it shorter, make them move faster. But anyways, that's the general idea of using the timeline. And once you're done, actually, what you can do is we can say auto add scene trackers, refresh this, and make sure each one of these have um, scene trackers. We'll turn off the actual uh, playable. For instance, let's just take this and we will, um, we just, we won't track this object. Okay, we have the child objects are tracking. We will dis turn off tracking for children. So this object is no longer tracking and it's also no longer in the scene. So what we can do now is we can make sure that all of these have trackers on them. The scene, if we want to export the scene, we can add trackers to that. Uh, make sure that they're active. And then we have this one, make sure that there's children trackers. And this one, make sure there's children trackers. Let's just go refresh. We have about the same number of things. So now what we could do is we could actually record this whole scene again, and we'll track the animation. So let's just press play. And we'll let the scene play out for a little bit. Stop it there, and we'll go refresh. So we'll have a take three here. I want to just double check my preferences really quick before I export this because I want maybe I want to bring this into Maya or something. We'll want we'll want to scale it down because it's such a big world, and Maya doesn't always love that. So we would go into preferences, and we would change our output settings to uh, the animation to ten instead of a hundred. So that way, when I go export animation. Um, and I'll probably put, I'm going to put this in a folder that's not in the game structure because that way it's a it's a big re-import. So I'm just going to bring it out here. So we'll put it over here. Um, S T exports. Okay, and I will call this aircraft scene zero one. So it'll export that. Now in order to find it, because we didn't bring it back into the scene. We'll just go all the ba way back up here, and we'll go back into here. Oops, into our Maya folder, into the Maya folder that I've created. This is more for my own things, and then we'll just pop this open. And what we'll see is we'll see everything snap into place, and our whole scene will play out. And everything's there. So now this is ready to be imported into your favorite program. And you can start tweaking the animation and doing some stuff with it. So there we go.